So what I have here today is a new casting for 2016 called the Tank Nader. It's from the HW Daredevil series. And I think it's one of those vehicles that you can actually put a minifigure in. We'll check that later. Um, yeah, and it says best for track. So it's supposedly a good track car. Um, we'll start off by reading the back on here. Uh, it was made in 2016, or born in 2016. Birthplace El Segundo, California. Does not say California on it. Yeah. Didn't notice it. See? On this other one, it says uh, California. This one doesn't say California. Anyways, it, the designer is Hot Wheels specialty. Um, here's a full-blown tank with hot rod attitude. Rotate the turret and prepare for battle. No one stands a chance against the tank nader. And here's the code. Okay, we'll take it out. It's not, I don't think this is like a real tank, though. It's more like a cartoon style tank. Because uh, I'm not sure if uh, there's any real tanks where you just stand outside with your head out. Like how it shows here. Take it out. Let's see. I think it's a mostly plastic casting. I don't know if there's which part's really metal. Or if this casting's even metal at all. It's a little stiff, but here it is. Let's see, it says, what's it say, P1 or 2 one? Yeah, I think it says 21. And then it says Tank Nader on the side. Give it a look here. And we'll see the base here. And it says, it has a name on it, and it's 2015 with H51 uh, code. So let's see if I, if I can fit any of these uh, minifigures I have set aside. We'll start off with the Legos one. Um, I think I saw people online uh, try doing this. The Legos ones don't fit, but we'll see. Since some people said the pants. No, it doesn't fit. But you could probably clamp his hands onto these little uh, handholds. Hold them like that. Oh, well that sprung away. But you can hang a figure on here. Or, I also have other ones. You could probably hang this one on the back too. I'll hang it right now. Okay. So I got this other one. No name brand figure. Pretty generic. Let's see if he fits. And it looks like he does. So whatever brand this figure is. I found it in a gumball machine, so I don't know if it's even a brand, if it's pretty much just a generic. But it looks like it fits. I also have these uh, Minion Mega Black ones. And no, doesn't really fit, but yeah, I guess it fits. I also got another one, this one right here. And, it, you know, it kind of fits. Not all the way as much as this one. Still looks cool either way. Let's see, I don't know if there's anything else about this casting. Um, like I said, you could just, if you have more than a couple figures, you could just clamp them onto these little hand rests, or hand holds. Oh. And that one's a little difficult though. But um, anyways, it's kind of a nice casting um, if you want to display your figures with it or make a, a little diorama or something. But, you know, I probably won't buy this one again. Um, if it's a different color, they, they may change the color and it may not be how this looks. Kind of looks like an authentic army tank, but um, still I may not uh, buy it unless there's a cool color. It all swivels around. But, um, yeah, I think that's about it. You can like, share, comment on my video, and subscribe to my channel, and uh, have a nice day.